Previously on Skullgirls. Oh, we okay. I didn't even get no context. So why we fighting? We just go do it. Okay. I guess she go. Okay. I guess she gonna get revenge from when we play this pain wheel. Yikes. Okay. She blocked all of that. Yikes. Okay. What's up, everybody? It's Mika Lachey, and I am back with another episode. Turn the TV down, please. Thank you. We are back with another episode of Skull Girls. Y'all already know what it is. We just trying to earn Valentine. That's my primary goal. Really, I I feel like she's interesting. What if I get to her and she's not that interesting? I don't know. Let's get into it, though. Sorry, Mo. Last time we did Misfortune and she was aight. Now we doing Peacock and Peacock. Let me do this. Peacock has been a little bit of a problem every time I fight her. Except last time, though. I kept rushing her, you know, and we got we got our own up out of there. Now we're going to see what it's like to fight with her. Peacock! Let's see what she got going on here. Oh, she boss lady? Oh, Laduke, Hive, meet Peacock, Lab 8's magnum opus. So this is Project Peacock. I've read your papers, but I'm embarrassed to say that I can barely follow them. Well, I'll explain. Project Peacock is equipped with not one, but two synthetic parasites. Hmm. Uh, Lab Zero has created one other like her. But more uh, extreme methods were required to complete the synchronization. I bet. Two synthetic parasites? Regulating the soul contamination must be difficult. Indeed. But with the proper theonite balance, I think we could graft even more onto future subjects. The Argus system not only lets her see everything, but the eyes also generate powerful Z-rays at the precise wavelength needed to disrupt the Skullgirl's essence. Mm. Hey, Gramps, shut it! I'm busy here. Rude? Oh, she watching a movie. Okay. Understandable. Oh, the Avery unit is admittedly a bit less well understood. Oh, we designed it to be a spatial link between her body and Lab 8's vast underground arsenal, but... She's doing things with it I never imagined possible. Seriously, Doc, shut it! Let's get into the good part. I know, y'all talking all in the movie. Why don't y'all have the conversation not in the theater? Maybe the one to defeat this skull girl once and for all. Did he just poke my eyes out? Pajamas. Put some coffee on and give me 15. <laughs> Gotta get suited up. I'll tell you, that was our PJ. Okay, got the squad. Okay. to the fighting. We don't need to see her goodies. You don't. Billy, um. Action. All right. We always block everything. Oh, that was me. Ouch. 
Okay. Now, Peacock, what I learned is that she is a very projectile fighter and she doesn't need to be close to you to fight you, but my fighting style is I'm always up close, so Peacock might not be a good fit for me. Unless I really like concentrate on what buttons I'm pressing and oh okay and you know try and do a little something but I'm just trying to get everybody up out of here. What a maroon. What a maroon. Yeah. Oh hey Miss Fortune. This is tuna with bacon. Let's rock. What was it? Oh, you gonna throw your? I got something to throw at you too. Take that and that. Pick your head up. Pick, pick your head up. Go get your head. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Where your head at? Go get it. Go get it. Am I poking her? Oh, oh, oh. I tried to get you. I tried to let you get your head. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Everybody warmed up? Action! I think I'm pretty warmed up. That me or her? Hmm. I think that was her. Oh, okay. She's stomping her out or what? Y'all like to watch TV. Hold it, everyone. We've got a message coming in from Dr. Avian. Who betrayed us? Excuse me. The doc's in trouble. We're too late. I knew it. They really did a number on the lab. Patricia. Did you hear that? I think I heard Doc Avian. Dr. Avian! Who did this to you? Mm. Lab Zero. Valentine who betrayed else? us. She let the Skull Girl in. Which way did they go? They fled to New Meridian. Follow, but make sure the others are safe. I know you can protect everyone. I know you can defeat the Skull Girl. They like sliced him all the way across his forehead. He's gone, boss. Aww. Guys, get ready. Pissing me off is the last mistake those idiots will ever make. Mm. Y'all know Marie? each other? She's the Skull Girl? I'm sorry, my child, but your reunion with Marie will have to wait. She has important business to attend to in the Grand Cathedral. Another peacock? Looks more like a dodo to me. Extinct! <laughs> Enough! Avian's legacy ends now. Alright. Come on, devil. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh boy. No, no, no. This is not. Stop blocking everything. finally arrives. I never expected you to be double, but don't worry. I'll be fitting you with a toe tag shortly. Okay. So why'd you do it? Both of our labs are supposed to be working together to destroy the Skull Girl. And you let her write to us! As though I'd explain myself to a child. We came to stop Dr. Avian's work, and that's what we did. You really think I'm gonna let you walk out of here alive, nurse? Yeah, like really? I don't think you have a choice. Oh. I'll admit you were almost an interesting opponent, but infected by Avian's philosophy of weakness, you're nothing more than garbage. Oh. I'm not Double. gonna sit here and let it's you talk to me like this. final experiment came to an end. Squawk! We'll show you weakness, lady! That's right, Avery. We are gonna murderize you. Time to die, traitor! But all y'all... Yeah. Well, I guess I gotta know what to press. We're sending you straight to hell for what you did to the doc. Mmm. In the church. A cathedral or whatever. Nurse. This is tuna with bacon. Action. Ouch. <laughs> All right. Freaking move. I poked her. <laughs> oh, shoot. I didn't know I was fighting both of y'all. Hold up. Bought you. You didn't have enough, apparently. Oh. All right. Her nose smoking. Okay, here we go. I haven't lost yet, but we all know when we get to Marie, it's an entirely different story. Patricia, you should not have come. Do not worry about me. My quest is nearly at an end. Oh, oh please. Don't worry about you. Some hellish MacGuffin has turned you into an undead killing machine. And I was created to stop you. There's no way you can beat me. So of course I'm worried about you. Look, Patricia. You will understand. Yeah. Whoa! Is that him? So all these people are evil. From the slave traders of Ramograd to their patrons, the Medici's, all must perish. Patricia, please leave. I cannot guarantee your safety much longer. You know I can't do that. Right. It must be taking everything you've got to fight that thing inside you. One of these days, you'll slip up and you'll be just as bad as those guys. Or worse. You leave me no choice but to beat you down, blow you up, and rip the skull hotter right out of you. Well, let's hope there's enough of you left that we can sit down with some pie together when this is all over, okay? <laughs> I'm, 
it seemed like they used to know each other or something. Maybe. Okay, let's see. This battle is all in the mind. Action! If I really knew how to use Peacock, I could just stand on one side of the stage and just throw all kind of projectiles. This ain't gonna be it. Oh. That was a nice dive, though. Is this how the story ends? Okay, here we go. Get off me! No! Almost, almost, almost! Got her! Okay. <laughs> I had to make sure. It was looking kind of uh I'd win. But I appreciate you trying to put up a fight. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. let's not nah. you know. Not the skull part. Who needs wishing? I'm already the strongest there is. He is so cocky. Um, we hope so. Right, Marie? Right, Patricia. I'm sorry I ran away that day. You stood up for us, and I ran. Mm. When I found the skull heart, I thought maybe I could make things right and punish the people that did that to you. Mm. We're good. You'll always be my friend. Aww. That makes me happy. Oh. Tell you what. I'll pick up where you left off. Now that I beat you, save the day, and it's rerun season, I don't have much to do. So why not? <laughs> well, that and bloodying those mafia fools sounds like a hoot. That would be wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you, Patricia. She's cocky, but she's it was sweet. Good seeing you. One last time. Then mm. there were two. Oh, yeah. oh, she's here. <laughs> Lorenzo. Ain't nobody scared so, of Dahlia. Mm. Geiger's resorted to experimenting on children now. My, how the mighty have fallen. Cram it, Granny. I don't want to rush 
you, but let's get this over with already. I've been slaughtering your goons all night. I'm missing my stories, and I need my beauty sleep. Then let me tuck you in for your final bedtime. Okay. Okay. All right. So... That was pretty cool. I feel like the stories are getting shorter, but they're good. Uh, I like Peacock, like I said, she might not be the right fit for me because of just the way that I play. Um, she does definitely have some good movesets though, um, and she's very, very cocky, but she really has a sweet heart. She doesn't forget about her friend. She had to beat the skull heart out of her friend. And you know, at the end, she was like, you know, you good with everything. After, you know, everything that went on, you good. You remembered that I did stand up for y'all and you ran off. So, but we good on that. So, you still my homie, you still my dog. We can pick up where we left off, however you want to do it. So, uh, so, but that was a good story. That was a good one. Can't wait for the next one. I'm just strolling through this real fast, make sure that I don't miss any part of the story. And it doesn't look like I did. Of course, there's always an unlocked palette and something in the art gallery. But if you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll always know when I'm posting new videos. And until next time.